on KDKA-TV. And a very good morning to you. Thanks for spending part of your Sunday morning with us. The unusual winter and spring weather that we have been experiencing is playing havoc with our property and our lives. The monetary damage in the city and the suburbs is staggering. Allegheny County Executive Rich Fitzgerald was forced to declare a county disaster emergency this past week in hopes of qualifying for federal and state assistance. The city of Pittsburgh budgeted $1 million for landslide and remediation, but has already seen damages costing $12 million just to repair and clear roads from landslides and stabilize hillsides that have collapsed. Right now, we welcome Pittsburgh City Councilman Corey O'Connor to the Sunday Business page. He represents District 5, which includes Commercial Street and Forward Avenue, the location of a chronic landslide problem. Councilman, welcome to the show. Good to have Thanks you on. Thanks for having Corey. me. Yeah, it took me uh, an extra 40 minutes to get here today, so <laughs> it's uh, it, it hasn't been pleasant on Commercial Street. Well, you know a lot about this because this is an area, obviously, it involves your district, but so many other districts in the city of Pittsburgh. I just want to, let me just back up in a second, and, and the city budgets $1 million dollars for this and it turns out to be a 12 million dollar problem and are we over yet no i mean that's the scary part i mean with this weather we're seeing it even on infrastructure that we just installed you know when we're sometimes we do pipes and hillsides i was just at a neighborhood the other day uh, pwsa installed a pipe and now the hillside's starting to slide just because they haven't had any growth in the hillside for vegetation so all of the work that we've done over the last winter has really started to even slide right now and that's mm. a scary number well, who's responsible for these landslides? Well, I know you can say it's an act of God or, or whatever, but the fact is that is it the property owner or the city of Pittsburgh or the government that you operate in or PennDOT? I mean, who takes yeah, responsibility? It really depends on where you're at. Um, so on commercial, you know, we have some portions of the hillside that we're taking care of. There's a private property owner um, who is working with us, giving us their engineering reports so that we can try to uh, speed that process up and open it. Um, right. Then when PWSA installs it, then that's it's, the Pittsburgh then it's Water and Sewer Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority. If they were to install something like we have in Squirrel Hill right now, you know they would take responsibility um, to rehab the hillside if it were to fall anymore. So it, it really depends on where you're at and what the location is. As of last year, we had to actually condemn some homes because of what a development had done a couple years prior. Right. I heard the other day that uh, former councilman, now chief of staff, uh, Dan Gilman, estimated that if you were to get ahead of the problem in terms of stabilization, it's a cost to the city of 40 to 50 million dollars. Yeah. That, it, that bad. It's bad. I, well, I mean, you're looking at infrastructure. Most are roads that are major roadways through the city of Pittsburgh that we have to rebuild. And then when you're talking about what could happen in the future, you can't just stabilize it for five years. I mean, you need a really long fix. And that's where infrastructure funds come. We have to reach out, as the county executive was doing, to the state and federal government. We need that locally. And it's not just Pittsburgh. It's municipalities oh, around yeah. us. Oh, no, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. We're not. We're talking right. Pittsburgh because you're yeah, exactly. Member, but but, but you're right. It's everywhere. I mean, just for us, it's 40 and 50. Yeah. And, and you know, we have a larger uh, budget than most municipalities around us. So now, it's a big number. So if you are a homeowner in whatever municipality, but let's say the city of Pittsburgh, property that you don't own, but you're, you know, you're kind of at the base of a hillside, looks to be endangering you with potential landslides, what are you supposed to do? So I would immediately call your local representative uh, at, at city council, especially. Right. Um, we would say maybe who the other property owner is. If it's the city, then you know we have to work with that individual to try to right. uh, remediate the situation as quick as we can. Um, we have had some people that unfortunately have been, um, uh, they had to leave their homes a couple weeks ago, and that's not fair, but we have to stop those problems before they hit three or four houses down the right. road, especially on Beachwood Boulevard. I saw a comment from Maura Kennedy, who I gather is the director of the Department of, uh, what is it, Permits, Licenses, and Inspections, in which she said that property owners, even if they're absentee landlords, are responsible for 
the hillsides. Yes, and, and, a, so, a, so. and, and a lot have been cited. Um, a number of issues, a lot of property owners have been cited for this. And again, we don't, this isn't a gotcha, you're cited, just pay the fine. I mean, we need to work with those individuals right. to get funding to fix those problems. Well, yeah, and you sure don't want those folks to walk away from the problem just because they own property, but maybe they don't live in the city of Pittsburgh. Maybe they're part of a big company or a corporation or a developer or whatever. They have to take ownership, take uh, responsibility. Because it seems to me that the city taxpayers or taxpayers anywhere should not be responsible when the, the mud starts flowing down and blocks you know, one of the highways. Yeah, I, I mean, it has to be on everyone that is responsible for that. I mean, it even goes to water uh, mediation that they have on site, or do you just have a pipe going down right. the street? I mean, is that proper? No, there should be citations. The DEP is involved on a couple of these locations as well, just to ensure that whatever was installed or built years ago, it was right. built properly. But like you said, if somebody up and leaves the city of Pittsburgh, now we, the taxpayers, have to take control of it right. because we don't want it to happen to three or four neighbors down the street. Right. Well, Councilman O'Connor, thank you very much no, for coming you. in. Always good to yeah. have you here, Thanks Corey, for and uh, for the update on all this. And, and good luck. I, I hope this weather is over. But, so my, uh, my brother, because he's a priest, he's praying for sunshine. So hopefully it happens <laughs> soon, yes. I'm with your brother. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. When the Sunday Business Page continues, remembering former First Lady Barbara Bush for her work to support family literacy. Donald Block from the Greater Pittsburgh.